All right, so the coin we are covering today is Cosmos, or the Atom token, which we haven't covered in quite a while on the channel. Um, it kind of got to that point where it crossed the nine to eight, eight to nine-ish billion dollar market cap level, where you know at that that level, it's pretty much on everybody's radar. So there's no need to to keep covering it anymore, unless it dips back down to an undervalued territory, and we can sense the interoperability narrative is not yet played out. Uh, and that's where we currently are. As as of this recording, Adam is trading at 26.24, down about 5.5% today, still recovering from the most recent Omnicrom, Omnicorum scare, however you say that. Uh, but uh, yeah, he, can you imagine being the travel bro coming back from a from a trip and single-handedly taking down the entire stock and crypto market? Uh, I'm sure his, his doctor probably ran to his Bybit terminal and, and threw on a short before he contacted the CDC, but... Anyway, back to Cosmos. The, the market cap is currently below $6 billion to $5.9 billion, uh, which in my opinion is just criminal. Obviously not financial advice, not telling you to go out and buy Cosmos or Adam. Uh, do your own research. Uh, hopefully your research starts here, though, or is a part of your research. Uh, but, you know, it's clear from listening and talking to the gigabrain VC investors in the space that the next big theme is going to be interoperability. I mean, we have... Uh, you know, we now have fully formed smart contract platforms. We have oracles. We have market specific niche plays that are game changing in the NFT and DeFi and insurance and medical spaces. But now we need to have that, you know, Wi-Fi type moment where we have a way for them to talk with one another and, and take us to that next level in the space. And, and right now, Polkadot and Cosmos are leading are the two leading candidates for that. We really like Rin too, but they're kind of doing something a little different. Uh, but the winner of, of interoperability is going to go home with a big ass prize and a huge market cap. And my bet for the longest time has been Cosmos. I, I love Polkadot and the whole para slot, para chain musical chairs game. But Cosmos, I think, eventually will be the winner. And it's significantly underpriced compared to Polkadot right now, even since Dot has come down quite a bit. It, Polkadot is currently $36 billion. Dot did get to an all-time high of $52 billion in market cap to give you an idea of how high an interoperability play in this current market environment can get. Uh, and Adam is at $5.9 billion. So he, currently it's about a little little more than 6x. Uh, Polkadot is 6x higher than than Adam. And, and currently Dot... You know, when you compare the two chains and, and their traction, uh, Dot currently has 1.5 daily active users compared to Adam's 1.1 daily active users. So pretty close there, you know, not exactly tied, but very, very close. Um, granted, Dot is growing uh, at a slightly faster clip, so you do have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but the other metrics we look at, um, the GitHead, GitHub commits, uh, Cosmos is certainly leading there with more GitHub commits. Uh, the social indicator sentiment do lead us to Cosmos. Again, the Reddit comments per day are much higher on, for Cosmos than than um, on Polkadot. Uh, so that's another one we we look at. And uh, and yeah, and there's certainly a chance that Polkadot could be just way overvalued. And Cosmos is currently perfectly valued, but I I don't think so. I think I think Cosmos is is undervalued at this point, in my opinion. Not financial advice. Uh, but in terms of a kind of risk reward growth scenario, I think Cosmos can certainly get you, you know, more more growth in this current market than a polka dot, at least. Uh, I can see Cosmos getting back to its all time high of, of 45. Um, that's nearly a, a two, you know, two Xing from here uh, close to it. Uh, but I think certainly, you know, a hundred dollar Cosmos is, is not out of the question for this cycle. Um, I think Cosmos should be a top 25 coin. Um, and or at least top 30. Uh, currently, it's about number 39, 38 on CoinMarketCap, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, that's that's our kind of coin for for today that we're looking at. I, I actually wanted to get this video out really quick because I bought I had a buy at, for Cosmos at 26.05, then it creeped up to 26.24, and now as I'm recording this, it's almost up to 27. Um, so, uh, but obviously again, not telling you to go run and invest in it, but just wanted to get it out there while it was in that, in that level of, um, you know, very undervalued or, or what have you. But, uh, but yeah, that's the one we're looking at. Let us know your thoughts on Cosmos, you know, versus Polkadot. If you're holding both, if you're holding one or the other, let, let me know. Um, and any other metrics you have, uh, behind, behind the, you know, the two comparing them or any other interoperability plays that are on your radar, because I, I certainly think that is going to be the big next narrative or big play 
um, probably in Q1 and leading into 2022. But uh, but anyway, that's just just my two two cents there. And uh, yeah, I will leave it leave it there for you and, and stop babbling. Uh, but uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Hit the like on YouTube uh, if you're on, listening on Spotify or the iTunes on the podcast side of things. If you could leave a positive comment, that would be so helpful. Thank you very much for everyone that, who has. Um, and yeah, if you want to check out BlockFi, uh, use that link below for their savings account. You get up to uh, $250 in free Bitcoin when you use that link to sign up. Um, and right now, Terra or no UST, USDT. Uh, Tether is 9.5% APY and USDC is 9% APY. So just destroying uh, traditional bank uh, APYs there. And uh, and yeah, the credit card is really cool too. It's a 3.5% back for the first three months if you use that link um, in Bitcoin, which is really super cool. And then um, after that, it's 1.5% back in APY. But yeah, sign up for the credit card, sign up for the, uh, the savings account. Really like working with BlockFi um, and really like their products. But, uh, but anyway... That I will leave it right here and stop babbling. I'll hit stop recording and uh, leave you guys to your Thursday. I hope everyone's doing well out there and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.